waterfall is lodged there. We're having a great time. This is fantastic. Ontario fishing. Ron, the structure here is just incredible. You know, we, you got that underwater finger coming off the shore there, but, and I'm bumping a whole bunch of rocks here. Oh, there's a ton of rock here. Yeah, a little bit of weed, too. You got some weed yeah. there as well? Yeah. A little bit of grass is good. Well, you know, we're trying three different techniques here. Ron, or, uh, Owen is jigging straight up and down off the bottom. I'm casting on a little bit and kind of dragging it back towards me. And Ron, he's casting over towards the finger and bringing it back this way. The secret about walleye fishing is locating them. You know, they do move around little packs. And what you want to do is, when you do catch one, throw a marker out, work that general area again. If you don't get another one, pick it up, keep moving along. And every time you catch one, work that area, because walleye never travel on, on their own. There you go, there you go. Spoke too soon. Walleye, walleye. Another walleye? Yep. Turn around wow, here, buddy, I'll help you out here. Oh. Oh, he's got the grub going. Oh! Nice hoisting him out. Look at the shooter, oh, McGavin. A little switch of Rudy there, eh? Wow. Look at that. You know what? Whoa, oh, he spit something out. He spit a big worm out. He just spit a worm out. Look at that. Where did that worm come from now? It came from your jig when you lost the fish. <laughs> wow. There he is. Good job, oh, good job, oh. Nice wall, I got a nice fish. Look at this, bud. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, dandy. That's a dandy. It's heavy, man. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna flip him in. There we go. Look at that. That's a nice northern Ontario walleye right there, man. I tell you what, you can, folks want to come to northern Ontario and catch a beautiful looking fish like this. Waterfalls Lodge is where it's at. I'm telling you, you're gonna have a lot of fun catching these babies. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a big fish. I, I think it's a good walleye, buddy. Yeah, that's a big fish, bud. Wait, wait. Oh, watch your hands there, fella. Oh, don't worry, bud. I'll get him. <laughs> I got him. Look at that. Now that is a nice fish. up for nice a chunk. Look at the hump one. Look at that. That's a nice fish. Like, that's a three and a half, four pounder, bud. I think our camera guy, Nick, has got the biggest one. Uh, took a little break there, started fishing, showed us all up. <laughs> uh, I think we should throw him in the water. What do you think? Either the walleye or Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, buddy. Another one for the book. Right there. As soon as he got to that spot. This is a better one. Yeah. This is a better one, man. <laughs> you called oh, that one. Oh, look at this, baby. Yes. Throw the, rock, throw the ball out. Oh. oh, look at this cow. Nice. Oh. Look at this fish, Nice bud. fish, bud. Nice fish. Ooh. That's <laughs> <laughs> a hog. You know, it's funny. You get confidence. I'm telling you what, <laughs> we were on this spot earlier. I had no confidence whatsoever. It was sunny. Leo did. Leo had lots of confidence in it. <laughs> we knew there was fish coming here, but it's a matter of them getting here. Oh, baby. Nice fish, Ronnie. And it, and it goes to show, a lot of people fish with minnows, and they feel like they have to have the live bait all the time. When, once they, they die in the bucket, they go in. You caught that one on a dead minnow. Yeah. How you're working that jig, just exactly. bouncing it off the bottom. They don't care what it is. As long as it's moving and it looks real, they're taking a whack That's at right. it. Here's a minnow I'm using right here. Look at all. It's on deck. It's on deck. <laughs> one of the things that's real important when you're walleye fishing, especially with a jig and a minnow or a jig and a night crawler, is to always make sure you got contact with the bottom. These, these walleye primarily feed off the bottom. You want to just cast out, leave a little bit of slack line, wait till that line hits the bottom, and then from there, you just want to always make sure you have contact. Just kind of bounce it up and down off that bottom like that, and you want to swim the, the jig back, and always make sure you have contact with that bottom. That, that's real, real imperative when you're walleye fishing. A lot of times you see people casting out and reeling it in, reeling it in. They're not really where the fish are, where they like to eat. And if, if, if Ron's hungry, he goes to the fridge. So why would I cast to the couch? That's normally the way I like to look at it. There we go, fella. Another nice walleye, bud. Look at that. Remember this spot, Ronnie. Remember this spot. The day has been absolutely incredible. This is the way the day has been <laughs> all day long. Mwah. Just amazing. Oh, I almost got spiked there. How do you like that? I'll tell you what, folks, you got to get out here. <laughs> Waterfall Lodge, beautiful Ontario fishing right here at its finest. Until next week, guys, I'm Leo Stakos. I'm Rod Jake. I'm Owen Nolan. We'll see you next week. Fish TV, brought to you in part by Tracker Boats, fish the finest. PJ's Pets, next to you, we're your pet's best friend. And Fraybill, innovating the outdoors.